Tandi's story of hope, opportunity and success. The National Development Plan describes a bleak future for Tandi and the millions of South African youth. Through the Mtombo Youth Development Foundation, Tandi and the youth of South Africa are offered a wonderful alternative of education, employment and service. Like all young rural youth, Tandi wishes her life could be different. However, without funding, a poor schooling and lack of resources, there is very little hope. However, one day a representative from the Mtombo Youth Development Foundation arrived at Tandi School and told the learners about health sciences as career options and the fact that this foundation would support youth who had the potential to study a health science degree. The Mtombo representative invited learners who were studying maths and science and who were interested in a career in health sciences to attend a hospital open day. At the hospital open day, they met graduates of the Mtombo Youth Development Foundation, covering a wide range of healthcare professions such as doctors, nurses, radiographers, pharmacists, physiotherapists, occupational therapists, speech therapists, biomedical technicians, and dental therapists, many professions that they did not know anything about. The graduates shared about the subjects and grades needed to study their discipline and explained what their work at the hospital entailed, giving the learners a good overall understanding of the different disciplines. They also shared their stories of having to overcome huge challenges at university in order to succeed, because their rural schooling and rural life had not prepared them for what lay ahead. However, they emphasized that despite it being hard, they had persevered and made it. They had successfully qualified as healthcare professionals and were now serving the community with their skills. Tandi and her friends left the hospital open day inspired and excited about the fact that there could be a bright future ahead. Following the advice of the Mtombo representative, Tandi applied to university to study radiography. She chose radiography because she remembered her brother had broken his arm and the radiographer at the hospital had taken a picture of his arm to give to the doctor. She remembered seeing his bones in that picture, which seemed incredible. She realized that the doctor was dependent on the radiographer to treat her brother properly. This inspired her to choose radiography. Tandi worked hard at school because she was determined to do well, despite her poorly resourced school and absence of well-qualified teachers. She joined a study group of like-minded learners in order to achieve the grades that she needed to study radiography. As part of her application to the Mtombo Youth Development Foundation, she was required to do one week's voluntary work at her local hospital in the radiography department in order to better understand what a radiographer does every day to confirm her choice. Tandi loved her voluntary work as she learned so much about the different aspects of radiography and its role within the hospital and in delivering healthcare to the community. It allowed her to confirm her choice and serve to give her even more determination and motivation to pursue this career option. Shortly thereafter, Tandi received a letter from the university informing her that she had been accepted to study radiography. She was over the moon with excitement but found it challenging to explain to her mother about this opportunity as her mother wanted her to work to help provide for the family. Tandi was invited to attend the selection interviews at her local hospital for an Mtombo Youth Development Foundation bursary. The selection panel made up of hospital staff, community and education leaders asked her about her motivation to become a radiographer. They were interested in hearing about her vision for her life and her willingness to serve her community when she graduated. By the end of the interview, they announced that she had been selected because of her potential and the shortage of radiographers at the hospital. In late January, Tandi left her mother, siblings and community to go to university. She was excited and scared at the same time, as she had never been to the city before. Fortunately, on arriving at university, she found that she had already been pre-registered by the Mtombo Youth Development Foundation who had agreed to provide her with complete financial support as well as academic and social mentoring support in order to assist her to succeed. Without this financial support, Tandi would not have had any hope 
of getting to university and would have had to stay home and find some sort of job. Within the week of her arrival at university, Dumsani Gumede, the Mtombo student mentor, met with her and fellow Mtombo students to explain the type of support the mentors would be providing to them. He explained that they were required to meet their mentor monthly and the mentor would assist them to identify their challenges and help them develop a plan of action to address these challenges in order for them to succeed. He emphasized that they were responsible to make the necessary changes and the mentor would hold them accountable. Tandi found university very challenging, especially when she first started. There were so many students, all the lecturing staff spoke English and spoke so quickly that it was difficult to understand. She applied herself and with the support of a mentor, managed to pass her June exams. She returned to her local hospital to do holiday work as required by the Mtombo Youth Development Foundation. The holiday work helped her understand the university theory as the staff explained the practical application of what she had learned. She also got a better understanding of how a hospital is run and the dependence of the different health science disciplines on one another. She also realized the need for more staff because of the high patient numbers. Tandi returned to university for the last six months. Her mentor assisted her with many of the skills she had never been taught, but are valuable in order to succeed, such as study skills, time management, setting priorities and goals. By the end of the year, Tandi was physically and mentally exhausted, but thankful that she had successfully passed her exams. Within a week of completing her exams, she attended the Student Life Skills in Bizo, held annually, where all Mtombo students come together with the purpose of discussing issues youth face and assisting them to manage themselves well. Issues discussed include HIV and AIDS, substance abuse, teenage pregnancy, violence, and how to protect oneself from these things that can derail their bright future. Tandi returned to university more confident, knowing what to expect and feeling better equipped. This was short-lived as Dumsani met with all students and announced that he was expecting every student to obtain at least 65% in every subject. Tandi was overwhelmed as she knew how difficult last year was, but she had no option but to apply herself and aim higher. To her surprise, when the year-end results were released, she had obtained a minimum of 65% from all her subjects. And so Tandi's time at university went on. She did holiday work twice a year at her local hospital and realized each time how her knowledge had grown and how her relationship with the hospital staff had developed. She was so excited about the fact that she would soon be returning as a qualified radiographer to fill a vacancy that had not been filled in three years due to lack of radiographers willing to work at a rural hospital. Finally, Tandi completed her degree after years of hard work. She returned home to the delight and joy of her mother and grandmother, the first graduate in her family, the first graduate from her school, and one of the very few graduates in her community. Everyone was so proud of Tandi. On the 3rd of January, Tandi started her job at her local hospital. She fitted in so easily because she knew all the people she would be working with and what role she would be playing in ensuring her community received quality healthcare. On the 25th of the month, Tandi received her first salary check. No one in her family had ever received a monthly salary. Tandi and her family's life had changed forever. Social grants were no longer the only form of income in her family. The cycle of poverty had been broken. Tandi assisted her siblings to access better schooling and supported her mother who had struggled and sacrificed so much. Tandi's children would never have to endure a poor education. They would have opportunities that Tandi never had. Not only is Tandi a provider for her family, she is a role model as she serves her community with the knowledge and skills, and she is a contributor to others as a taxpayer. Through the Mtombo Youth Development Foundation, many young people like Tandi have been assisted to become healthcare professionals. In fact, sufficient graduates exist to provide healthcare professionals for nine rural hospitals. 
Currently, over 200 youth are being supported by the Mtombo Youth Development Foundation to study a wide range of health science degrees. Our model of identifying, training and supporting rural youth to successfully become qualified healthcare workers can assist to address the common issues of poor accessibility and success of rural youth at universities, whilst addressing the critical shortages of staff at rural hospitals. Through the mentoring support program, the Mtombo students have consistently achieved university pass rates exceeding 90%, showing that rural youth, given the necessary support, have the ability to succeed. In addition, this model gives Tandi and other youth an opportunity for a better life, but also benefits their community as they work as healthcare professionals in their community for at least the same number of years they were supported for. This model could be replicated to other rural provinces in order to have an even greater impact. Learn more about the Mtombo Youth Development Foundation by visiting their website.